All right, folks, it's time for another episode of uh, Revive My Junkie Truck. Anyway, I'm putting the 3G alternator in this evening. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working on. It's going to go right there. I've decided to tempt fate, and I'm not going to mess with this vacuum hose right now. So I'll probably be taking all this out again in the near future. Oh, I'm sorry. So that vacuum hose probably needs to be replaced, but I don't feel like messing with it right now. I just want to get it back together, get a little more stuff done. I'll take all this apart again probably sooner than I want to. So first things first, let's live adventurously and just see how this fits. Eh, close enough. I think this is going to work just fine. Um, so let me just set that there. It's a lot smaller than what came out. That's nice. Need to go get the thread lock. I'll be right back. Okay, so it is not technically necessary to put thread locker on this. However, my general experience is if you set a spot on the table for Murphy of Murphy's Law, he won't show up. Meaning that if you plan for problems, you won't have them. So apparently this whole thing should be in here like this, and that means it's clocked wrong. So we get to adjust the clocking. Oh yeah, this is hyper hella wrong. So let me re-clock this. All right, so this is clocked wrong, which is my fault, irritating. So five sixteenths to remove these. I don't see a hole for the brushes unless it's this tiny little thing right here. Oh, I'll bet that's what that is. All right, let me go find something. I'm going to go get a paper clip for that. All right. That's not going to work, so we'll just have to do this the hard way. Oh, actually, we can just do it the easy way and not take it apart. So I want to see if this fits the way I want it to. It does. But I think like that might be better. I didn't have to take anything apart. My only question is, do I want it? Let me go look at something on the internet. I want to see what everybody else has done. Because I can either have it here or I can have it here. This face is up. This face is towards the battery. Let me go look. Like so much in life, how you want to put this in is up to you. Um, so I'm going to put it in in a way that makes sense to me because devil be damned, I'm already way off the factory specs and this just doesn't matter. That's the beauty of working on old vehicles. I don't have to worry about a warranty because there isn't one. And I'm adding thread lockers so that they'll go where I want them to.
beautiful. Didn't even have to pull the stator. Uh, doesn't sound like I have any issues with rings. So uh, this is going to put this down and this straight out, but I think that'll work out just fine. So let's see. Now, this is a very popular uh, upgrade. So there's a lot of data out there on how this needs to be done. And the black and white wire needs to connect back to this single terminal here. So we're going to go ahead and make that. I got to get. Um, I gotta get a heat shrink quarter inch spade connector. So I'll be right back with that. And I'm gonna strip this first. So by stripping this, we're gonna find out exactly what size it is. And I think that's probably a little bit long. It's responding to 14 gauge, so the 14, 16 should be fine. like it could be 16 gauge too. That looks great. So let me go get the crimpers and the spade terminal for that. So first things first, we want to make sure this fits. It does. And then we want to make sure this fits. And it does. So I'm using a 16 gauge terminal. That's a red. That should be all it takes. Yep. So Next, we're going to go ahead and heat shrink this. This just goes there. This is the sensing wire. Now, why in the world they don't have this loop back internally? Yeah, that's on them. I really have no idea. This goes to the battery terminal and it senses the voltage so the alternator can adjust its output voltage. We're going to use a number four wire to the battery. So, this can go right here because that's effectively going to be the battery. So we're going to bring it back to here, and then we're going to cut it. And this identifies as a number 12 wire, so that's what it's going to get used. So we'll just clean that up a little bit, and now let's figure out. It's this size, so I'll just set this where it's a little easier to see. And it's still too big. That looks good. And this is for 16 to 14, so we need a bigger one. Because this is number 12, number 10, which is what we're dealing with. And we can actually make this smaller, so we're going to. Smaller than that. 
So that keeps this nice and short. Do is heat shrink that. That's going to be a little bit warm, but we'll just kind of work our way through that. And then we'll add the cable when we have it. So let me show you what this looks like. It's a nice, clean install, minimal excess wiring hanging out. And all we got to do at this point is hang a battery cable off this side and off to the battery. Sense wire. This is the wire that runs the alternator light, and we'll splice into this at a later point and run it all the way back. All right, so I'm going to put my gloves on so that it minimizes the amount of grease that gets on me. this and I'll show you what we're doing. thread locker moved in. There we go. That is not a big deal. That is a feature, not a problem.
a different size. All right, so we're gonna have to go figure out what size this is. I'll be back. All right, so we have an M8 one and a quarter and a 40 millimeter is the closest, but it's not gonna let me mount my ground connection here, which is kind of a shame. That's where I wanted it. Let me find the um, socket for this. I'll be back. All right, so a 13 millimeter socket fits this nicely. I'm gonna run this in. We'll just pause right there. Let me find a belt. All right, so we're going to install the belt. A couple other little Houdini tricks here. All right, that's going to go right there. is not nearly long enough. Let me go check the label on that. Maybe that was the air conditioner. All right, that was the air conditioner belt, so it needs to come back out because we're not ready for it. And there's not a lot of room in here. a little bit shorter belt. There's just no good way to do this. So the first challenge is just to get it past the fan. And here comes our last one. So now we're past the fan. And we need to get it into these grooves. So next, we need to deal with the um, 
air pump or vacuum. Definitely a three eighths. And it, no, no, it wouldn't be a 13. It'd be like a 12 or 11. All right, let me go get something small. As might be expected, it is a 10 millimeter. new belt for this as well. if we can make it work. No, nope, it's a smaller one. I'll bear it back. Alright, so there is a spot to put a 3 8 ratchet in so you can put pressure on it while you tighten these bolts. And if you have four hands, you'll find this to be much easier. There's one. And let's see how we did. Yeah, that'll work. These don't have to be piano strings. They just have to be on here. And they're going to stretch anyway when they run in the first couple hours. All right. So, yeah. All right, now for the pathetic steering. Sorry, power steering. Yes, yes, step back. It's the middle belt. in here.
eighths and a five eighths.
things that need to happen. So we need to mount the ground and this is where it's going to go on this side of the engine. It was here, it's just not going to fit there anymore, so. I think there's more than enough space there. I just needed a wrench to back me up. And I'm gonna stop and clean this. Not as good as a wire brush, but it'll work. Oops, different size. I'll be right back. So it needed a different size wrench for the nut. Now we can crank this down. Still need a different size. All right, there we go. Now we gotta work on the other side. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that I was rerouting this hose in the process of this whole project. And I think we need to take a couple inches off this. Let's see what that looks like at this point. Yeah, I think that looks good right there. Uh, that should be over top. We're going to fix that too.
There we go. That's buttoned up. So if you like that, that's nice and that's exactly how I want this in here. That comes back here. Uh, still need to reroute some other hoses, but for now this is good. So now back to the other end of the truck. So this side is more or less buttoned up. We still need to connect. This green wire to this green wire, not a big deal. We'll run a piece of wire for that properly. And then we need to run from this terminal to the battery. But we're gonna go through a fuse first. Um, fuse will probably get located down here over here. I don't know. We'll figure that out. Um, but first, so I don't think that should be loose. So I'm going to make sure that it's tight. The first thing I need to do is figure out what size that is. This is 15 16 which I don't think I have that wrench. It is. Let me go see if I can find it. All right, hot diggity dog. I do have a 15 16 inch wrench. All right, that is perfect. <clears throat> and that's snug. So hopefully that doesn't leak, and if it does, we'll just have to figure out what's going on. We gotta put that back on. That's our other ground.
we need to get ready to put the terminals back on, so I'm going to set this one up here. making some adjustments based on how I want the wires to, to lay.
bring this through here. The reason is, is because I know I need to run a bigger cable to there. And I'm already having cable uh, lay problems. Should be startable. So, connect, 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 tight, 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 tight. Like some stuff down there, but we're gonna see what happens. I think it's gonna leak like a sieve when it's running, but let's start it and find out. Alright, so, will it start? I think it will. But there's only one way to know, and that's to try. So let's try.
right, no leaks. Wow, that's exciting. How much is it missing? Eh, quite a bit, probably. Yeah, enough that I can't see it. Frothy and bubbly, which means it's low. All right, we'll start it and do it again.
that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Um, I need to bleed the uh, cooling system. And uh, it's not circulating yet. Thermostat hasn't opened, so that's not today's project. We're done for today. Um, the next step is to hook up this alternator, at which point um, it should be off of the battery charger, hopefully permanently. Although these are pretty crappy batteries, so no telling. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting.